then the Inspector General's shocking report proved that the Obama FBI obtained secret warrants to spy on my campaign based on a phony foreign dossier of debunked smears paid for by crooked Hillary Clinton and the DNC. Right? The FBI failed to disclose the nature of the political hit job to the FISA court. They hid it, they deceived it, and they lied. The dossier was written by a discredited foreign agent who, quote, desperate that Donald Trump not get elected and was passionate about him not being the United States president. What's this? They, folks, they spied on our campaign, okay? They spied. Never happened before in the history of our country. And we're really wise to it. We're wise to it. The Inspector General found that the FBI's spying application contained 17 errors and omissions commonly known as lies and deceit. When the FBI, and you have great people in the FBI, but not in leadership. You have not good people in leadership you haven't had. When the FBI uncovered evidence showing that we did absolutely nothing wrong, which was right at the beginning, they hid that exonerating. You know that. They hid it. They hid it so nobody could see it, so they could keep this hoax going on for two years. They knew right at the beginning that it was all a frame-up, a setup. But they hid it so that nobody could see it, so they could keep it going on, thinking they were going to hurt us politically. But now we're stronger politically than we were ever before. And the FBI also sent multiple undercover human spies to surveil and record people associated with our campaign. Look how they've hurt people. They've destroyed the lives of people that were great people, that are still great people. Their lives have been destroyed by scum, okay, by scum. An FBI lawyer forged, took a email, forged, forged an email used as evidence, an act which is now the subject of a criminal referral, okay? What they did is so unbelievable. Oh, I look forward, I don't know, I don't know, I keep away. I look forward to Bull Durham's report. That's the one I look forward to. And this report was great by the IG, especially since he was appointed by President Barack Hussein Obama. Considering that fact, it was great. Because we learned a lot of things that nobody would have found out very easily, although I suspect we would have. We also know from a previous Inspector General investigation that many of these same high-ranking officials were consumed with anti-Trump and anti-Trump people hatred and bias texting about an insurance policy. Let's have an insurance policy, remember? Remember? Peter Strzok and his lover, Lisa Page. Remember? Lisa, I love you so much. Lisa, please, Lisa, please. Lisa, I've never loved anyone like you. We won't allow this to happen to our country. Lisa, please, tell me you love me, Lisa. I love you. Peter, I love you. I love you like I've never loved anyone. And if for any reason, if for any reason she loses, even though she's a stone-cold corrupt person, if for any reason she loses, Peter, we've got to have an insurance policy. We have to do it. Because we're going to go out, and that's what's been happening for the last two and a half years, okay? It was their phony insurance policy. So FBI lawyer Lisa Page, so in love that she didn't know what the hell was happening, texted the head of counterintelligence, Peter Strzok, likewise, so in love he couldn't see straight. This poor guy, did I hear he needed a restraining order after this whole thing to keep him away from Lisa? That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. The fake news will never report it. 
but it could be true. No, that's what I heard. I don't know. I mean, who could believe a thing like that? No, I heard that Peter Strzok needed a restraining order to keep him away from his once lover. Ah, Lisa, I hope you miss him. Lisa, he'll never be the same. But he said he's not ever going to become president. And Strzok looked back. No, no, he won't. We'll stop it. We'll stop it. Can you believe we found these texts? Can you believe? This is FBI agents at a high level. No, no, we'll stop it. They're going to stop us from winning an election. And then we have to listen. There was no bias. Oh, there was no bias. Think of these people. They write there was no bias. And yet he's saying, no, no, darling, we'll stop it. And then they announced there was no bias. No, you know what we're doing? And it's not easy. And somebody said, a regular president, I don't want to use the word normal because that's not a nice normal refer. A regular president would have been under a table, thumb in the mouth, saying, take me home, mommy. This is too tough for me. It's true. True, they know. And while it was tough on my family, I have to say, very unfair to my family, very tough on my family. I have a great family, tough. For me, it's my life. I do it, I do it, it's one thing. But very tough on a family. A thing like this happens, it's a disgrace. But day after day, we're exposing something called that filthy, disgusting, horrible swamp, and we're cleaning it up. <laughs>